The multiplayer experience has had ample changes behind you the scenes. You should expect a much better experience across all consoles. If you have epilepsy, then probably look away now. But this is completely unedited footage of the Battlefront Classic Collection that I just captured. Okay, I lied, I did add sound effects. So I'm looking for a match, max ping 50 is nothing. Let's go to 60, also nothing. 70, also nothing. 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 40. The lowest ping game I can find has 234 ping. And this is also the only playable server in the entire world right now that people are actually in on PS5. I'm playing during peak time. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> so last night I decided to jump back on the Battlefront Classic Collection to see if this thing is playable at all after the update Aspire released into the game where they claim to have made improvements to the multiplayer. I spent two to three hours trying to play this thing and my goodness. The game would constantly tell me that I've unplugged my seatbelt, but I can't deny that the game is playable, because it is, but not always. What the heck? The countdown's over. Why won't it spawn? It's not letting me spawn. What? Only one team spawned into the game, and they just took all the command posts and won in like 20 seconds. It only let one team spawn into the game. How is that okay? I thought it'd be good to try a variety of weapons and classes to see just how bad the ping and online issues are. For me, using the engineer with the shotgun was a good way to test to see if my shots were actually registering, which they were. They were just a little delayed sometimes. <laughs> Also, I noticed the hit detection and playability to be a lot worse on the bigger maps. Smaller maps like Tantive 4 were still a mess and just grenade spam everywhere, but I was getting a bunch of kills. Whereas on Hoth and Geonosis, it was just chaos. I don't understand what's happening. I just don't understand how they can say this has been fixed. Believe it or not, on Geonosis, I was able to play well enough that I unlocked Mace Windu. But actually being able to use the hero with some level of competence was something the game wasn't going to allow me to do. Dude, I'm like glitching all over the place. What is going on? Windu's clearly gone a little loopy after falling out that window. Now, all that said, the game is still fun and somewhat playable online. I believe now you can also join international servers, seeing as though this one definitely wasn't located in Australia. And if you have overseas friends, you're likely going to be able to join the same server as your overseas friends. But hang on, being able to actually play with them is a bit of a loose statement. It was interesting also getting to use a variety of vehicles to see how they fared online. Overall, I think I had the most success with the snail tank. But this is mostly just because it has so much firepower and even if the ping was ridiculously bad, the spread of blasts was still able to get me a bunch of kills. Now, all that said, you can still have a lot of fun playing the online here, but it's not fun because of what Aspire have done here. It's fun because Battlefront 2 is a fun game. And this is Battlefront 2, just in a worse version than it previously was. Now, console players, I know you don't really want to turn on your PC if you want to have a chill gaming session, but playing Battlefront 2 on console online right now probably isn't going to be that chill because you're going to end up raging at something ridiculous that happens in game like this. The classic Battlefront 2 on PC, the original version, not the classic collection, has more players in the multiplayer right now than I think it has in recent months or recent years because it provides a better experience than the classic collection. 
crazy that there's more people playing the old game which was released such a long time ago as opposed to the classic collection which released like three or four weeks ago also checking the players list it's clear that people from all over the world are just playing in the one server everyone in the server has a completely different ping which is explaining some of the connectivity issues i'm sure but also what is the point guys aspire's main marketing around the classic collection was the 64 player online lobbies the fact most people probably didn't play online back when they originally played battlefront 2 considering you probably didn't have your ps2 connected to the internet or whatever platform you were playing on xbox even pc back then and guys this is the experience that the game delivers <laughs> Ample changes behind the scenes. Players should expect a much better experience across all consoles. I wouldn't say much better is fair. I'd say slightly improved, but still terrible, is a fair assessment of what this garbage is. What's interesting though, is that Aspire have also said our work on update two continues and will provide more information when ready. So clearly they are gonna be updating this game more into the future, whether that fixes some of these bugs I've just experienced online or some of the additional issues with the game, even in the single player, who knows? Maybe they're gonna do something wild and pull an EA Battlefront 2 and give us something we've always been wanting like I don't know Battlefront 3 but I really don't know what else they could do to make up for the chaotic mess the Battlefront Classic Collection was and is It would have to be something in the realms of releasing this game entirely for free or somehow giving us a bunch of new content. I don't really know how that works though, considering all the content is in the game already. They're not gonna go and start adding new content to a game that was made in 2005. <laughs> I really don't understand how they can say this experience has had ample changes and this is a much better experience. It's just absurd and kind of delusional, if I'm honest. And if you're like me and live in Australia or in a region with a smaller population, that's what, smaller than the US, I guess, then you're basically never going to be able to experience the classic collection online in a fun, playable way because you're going to have to play on servers with 300 ping. It's just absurd and ridiculous. And for me, I'm sorry, is one of the biggest failures in video gaming history in recent years. Maybe I'll try the classic collection again when there's another update and see what else they fixed here. But if you want to see what this game should have been, then watch this video here where I completely overhauled Battlefront 2 into the game we deserve. And also please subscribe, come follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join my Discord and TikTok. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew, and hopefully I'll catch you somewhere in a future where Battlefront Classic actually works and is worth playing.